So the purpose of today's webinar is to share Cochrane Child's health experience with creating, developing and evaluating a knowledge translation plan. And we acknowledge that for different Cochrane entities, such as uh, Cochrane Review Groups and other fields, this might look a little different. Um, but we really wanted to highlight some fundamental KT principles and planning exercises that we think will help other groups work through their own KT strategies. Um, so, as Chris said, I'm Sarah Elliott. I'm the Program Manager for Cochrane Child Health. Um, and today I have Dr. Gabrielle Zimmerman with me. Good morning. I, um, I am the Program Coordinator for Knowledge Translation and Implementation Science with the Alberta Spore Support Unit. And I've um, been helping Sarah with their KT plan, as you'll see. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll get started. Great. So today's webinar, um, I'll start by providing some context as to what Cochrane Child Health is what activities we are involved in and why. And then Gabrielle will give an introduction into knowledge translation, planning and evaluation, touching on some basic, <clears throat> excuse me, principles underpinning our knowledge translation work. For each of the main elements of the KT plan that Gabrielle discusses, I'll be providing um, examples from Cochrane Child Health to put everything into context. And hopefully this will lead to discussion around the challenges we faced and what we think are important considerations for moving forward in this area of work. <clears throat> so, in the mid-1990s, discussion began about the need for a child health focus within Cochrane. The first exploratory meeting was held in May in 1995 in San Diego, where initial discussions focused on forming a collaborative review group for child health topics. However, early stages of planning suggested that child health would be better suited within Cochrane as a field, since it overlaps with many of the disease-specific Cochrane review groups. And so in 1997, Cochrane Child Health was established as a field within Cochrane. And today, this field is led by four international co-directors, Dr. Lisa Hartling, Dr. Katrina Williams, Dr. Ricardo Fernandez, and Denise Thompson. We currently have an information specialist and a statistician as part of our team, as well as a research assistant and myself, the field manager. We work together to help bridge the gap between available clinical evidence and practice uptake within the pediatric setting and hopes to improve evidence-informed healthcare decisions for children and youth. So Cochrane Child Health carries out knowledge translation of Cochrane evidence for different end users, such as clinicians, patients, families, policymakers, and researchers. And we feel like we've been doing this since the beginning, but perhaps at the time it wasn't really referred to as knowledge translation. So the vision of Cochrane Child Health is that decision makers, which I mentioned before is healthcare providers, policy makers, parents and children and youth, anyone really concerned with child health to make evidence informed healthcare decisions by using high quality Cochrane systematic reviews of the best available evidence. To help this come to fruition, we work within the child health community to advocate for decision making based on finding, understanding and using the best available evidence. We do this by carrying out knowledge translation of high quality healthcare evidence and we also train child health practitioners and researchers to critically appraise and use systematic review evidence. Within the Cochrane community, we advocate for the development of systematic reviews that reflect the particular needs of children and youth by facilitating clinically relevant and methodologically rigorous Cochrane reviews on child health topics and developing appropriate methods for evidence synthesis and meta-analyses in child health. Some examples of our initiatives include supporting evidence-informed decisions by identifying and disseminating child health Cochrane reviews. And we do this through developing formal and informal partnerships with relevant stakeholders, the details of which I will present a little later on. As I said previously, within Cochrane, we advocate for systematic reviews that reflect the specific needs of children and youth, which are clinically relevant and methodologically rigorous. We do this through through training researchers and clinicians and other stakeholders in critical appraisal methods and the use of systematic reviews in practice, as well as the production of knowledge synthesis products such as systematic reviews, overviews and rapid reviews. And we also run a number of methods projects specific to improving the quality of how evidence is synthesized and reported in child health. Over the years, we have also built and coordinated a number of communication strategies to enhance dissemination and uptake of child health evidence. For example, 
We run a Cochrane Corners product in three different countries, Canada, Australia, and Portugal. And these are targeted towards a clinical audience that brings to light the latest Cochrane evidence on a clinical topic relevant to child health. We also help develop and disseminate a number of knowledge translation tools targeted towards both a clinical and research audience and consumer patient audience to improve the clinical care and inform parents about the management of a number of clinical conditions. A lot of our work is through partnerships with provincial and national collaborators, which we have developed and nurtured over the years to help maintain a mutually beneficial working relationship. And I'll touch on why that is so important for the field when I talk through our strategic plan. So all has been going really well for the past few decades. Um, and Cochrane Child Health was operating through support from a national funding agency. So a lot of initiatives were mainly focused within Canada. Then this past year, we have in-kind funding from multiple sources, and that's really allowed us a little more freedom and flexibility as to where we could target our efforts. And we took it as an opportunity to reevaluate our commitments. A concept I think many researchers and review groups and other fields can resonate with is the uncertainty or lack thereof funding. And this places a number of constraints on activities as a result of a number of what resources are available and perhaps there's a shift in priorities, et cetera. So depending on what the funding body's mandate is. However, one thing we kept coming back to and we knew for certain was that we wanted to be and remain at the forefront of knowledge translation within Cochrane. And in order to accomplish that, we needed to have a comprehensive strategy which supported the new Cochrane KT framework. So the Cochrane Child Health team sat down with Gabrielle, who guided us through the development and planning of our new KT strategy. We really wanted to map a new direction for Cochrane Child Health. So Gabrielle will now speak to what KT is and walk us through what the different elements of a KT plan are. And as I said before, we will use the Cochrane Child Health strategy to provide examples and illustrate the practicalities of developing and planning a comprehensive strategy.